Welcome back to Newbie for Hire and another motorboat tutorial. This is the ultimate in mobile turret towers or raft turret towers. As you can see, it is completely inundated in turrets and plant X. I think there's something like 72 turrets on this thing. Uh, underneath, it's got the four turrets for the leads. It's got loads of turrets to protect. Inside, it is very minimalistic. It has just a single bed, a smithy, a single turret, and the generator. So its sole function is as the turret tower. There's no, I mean, the only storage is your smithy, is an emergency storage. There's nothing else on this thing. Our cable is nice and protected inside this pillar. I'm actually very curious to see what happens if you put two of these together next to each other when the turret update goes in. It'll be over 100 turrets. Will they cease to function? Or will we be able to exceed the turret limit using rafts? I think we might. Let's get right into the build. And this is buildable on officials, and the material list will be in the description. All right, we're gonna grab a pillar. We're gonna grab the boat here. We're gonna stick it in this box. Just like that and then a pillar back from that. These can be wood, remember, these are gonna get destroyed. And then another one there, demolish that one. A foundation there, that can be a wooden one or whatever. And then foundation at the lower, and that's the level of our boat, so we demolish all this. And this is our first boat since the ruining of the mechanics so we'll fill out the boat here and then to get the lower point we need to be able to drive the boat we'll put a pillar there a pillar next to it at the lower point like that demolish this one and another one at the lower point like that and that gets us the foundation low enough and then one there one there demolish this pillar and then we're going to do a thatched ceiling there thatched there a foundation there we're going to demolish and a foundation there at the higher point now demolish this ceiling demolish this foundation and this ceiling so it should look like that. So this is the foundation of our boat so far. These are all the foundations we're doing except for below it. So now we're gonna do a thatched ceiling off of that, thatched wall off that, another thatched wall, another thatched wall, and then thatched ceiling off of that, like that, one more, and then a wooden pillar here, and a metal foundation there. Now we're going to demolish everything except for this foundation and stick a pillar in the middle of that. That's to keep it from decaying on us. Then we're going to stick four turrets on here. These are our leads protection, so we'll stick these on all targets so our boat doesn't get killed by leads. All right, back on the top of the boat, we are gonna stick another pillar in this thing. This is a metal one, we're gonna keep it. Then we're going to grab a cable and we're gonna stick it in the middle of this pillar. So K cam and zoom out so we can get it right where we want it to be. That's pretty good, doesn't have to be exact. That's good enough. I'm gonna build another one up from that and another pillar, and then a wall for the front, a wall there, a wall there, a straight cable at the bottom, you can see it poking through just there, that's for our generator, a junction box right here, and the generator right there. Just like that. 
Usually I forget, but this time I'm not forgetting the smithy. We're going to put in before we put our walls. And we're going to put it right here up against the generator. Right there. Should be able to squeeze a wall in. Like that. One more wall like that. All right, then we're going to put the bed right here. Ish. Right there. We can still drive. And then one turret. Like that. Actually forgot we built this a little bit wrong, so you're gonna have to due to the glitches they added, we can't put ceilings through pillars anymore. So we gotta demolish this pillar. Place a ceiling here, over that pillar, next to the generator, like this. Then we can put our pillar back in it, like that. Then we're going to put a wall there, a sloped wall right there, and a sloped wall left there. A regular metal wall here. And here, make sure it's on the outside so it's at the higher point matches up with the other walls. You don't want to put it on the lower foundation. Otherwise, it'll be too low. Then a ceiling over that. A doorway in here. And you're going to want to make sure this is at the higher point. It can be either outside or hanging off the ceiling. It doesn't matter. Just make sure it's at the higher point so that it blocks it fully. Stick a door in that. And then a ramp off of that. So this is the entrance. And then up here, a sloped ceiling, like that. Now down at the base, on each corner of the raft, so you can see there's our entrance. Here's the front corner. We're going to put a giant metal hatch frame. And then toward the entrance here, another one, like that. And then on the other side, same thing, front corner. like that and back corner like that and then we're gonna put a ceiling there a ceiling there in between all the all the hatch frames and a ceiling there this is for our plant X which we're gonna put and we have to put these in the right order or they're not gonna fit right so we put this one first up against the boat you can see where we're at and then these ones here, they kind of got to come out a little bit. And then one here. And one here. One here off the front. And then same thing over here, we put the one up against the boat first. Like that. And then we can put these ones in. And this one last. Just like that. Then up on top, we're going to put one here. We're not going to put one on this uh, sloped ceiling because it's it's not going to get water. It's going to be blocked. Uh, the, the rest of these should get water from the sky. So these ones should all be fine. Remember, don't plant them until the very end or they'll we won't or we won't have the structures we need so then what we're going to do is a we're going to go with them, some thatch walls going up two of them going up off of that we are going to do a metal ceiling like that and another one first let's place our cable we're doing one more cable and another ceiling off that then a junction there now we build our our pillar up through here. Make sure it's at the lower point. It's not quite going up through yet. That's good. And then at the higher point, 
We don't want it attached to these ceilings. If it attached to these ceilings, it's going to blow up with this wall. That's what we have to be careful about or our whole thing's going to collapse on us. We can do another pillar up through there. Now we're going to do the same thing. Walls going up. Uh, thatch walls going up. And this time we're going to go all the way up to the sky. And then right before the final point, put our walls. You can see I put one on each side of that. We can demolish the one at the top. One wall further is the highest point, but if you put one more fuller, if you built one more wall, you can't build the ceiling on it. That's why we stopped where we've stopped. Now we've got to put these pillars in. We've got to do the same thing as before. We've got to make sure that the pillars are supporting each other, not, not the ceiling. Should be good there. We can demolish these thatch walls. So your raft should now look like that. On the top, we're going to do four giant hatch frames at each corner, like that, uh, like that, and then one right next to it. And then on the opposite side, I like to stick it. There's two points, the outside and the inside. I like to stick it on the outside. I don't think it really matters. And then one like that. So there should be four just like that. Then we're going to put we're going to put a crop plot over this ceiling. A crop plot over this ceiling, and then a crop plot over these hatch frames in the middle, and one on the other one in the middle. Just like that. And down on the mid level, we're doing the same thing with the hatch frames. We're going to do one on each corner. Like that. And then one next to it like that, and then on the opposite side, like that, and then one next to that, like that. And that's it for the boat. The, ho the whole rest of the boat is just all turrets and then planting our plant eggs. So that's what it's going to look like without turrets. So you can get an idea, make sure everything was done properly. And now for turret placement, we've got, we've already got the one inside, we've got the four below. So facing the entrance to the boat, we're going to put one next to the ramp. One in the middle next to that one. One in the corner. One on this corner. One on this corner. that corner, and then one in the middle next to it, and then one in this corner. We're going to do the same exact thing on the other side, so starting on the entrance to the boat. one on that corner for the ground floor. Now we still got a few more to place down here. 
up on top of our entrance. We're going to do one here on this corner. Just make sure it's not... Actually, I'm going to move this planx back a little bit. right there so I can get these on without sticking them on top of the plan X and one in each corner like that and then up here we're gonna do one in each corner here but facing like that just like that and then down below that next to the pillar we're gonna do one right there and one right there and then we're going to do one more one more at the front of the pillar like that and that's everything on the lower part on the middle section that is toward the entrance there's our pillar we're going to do one right here one on the opposite side and right there and then over here, we're going to do one more in front of the pillar, like that. And then here, we're going to do one on that corner, one on that corner, and then one in the middle here, one in the middle here. And then one in the middle right here. One in the corner here. And then one in the corner here. And we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. So we're going to do one in the corner here. One in this corner. One in the middle here. One in this corner, one in the middle here, and then this corner, and lastly, this corner. And that's that does it for that level. Now we're going up to the final level. And for this level, this is the front of the boat. It doesn't really matter. I mean, you can put them however you want, but we're going to put one in that corner. One in this corner, one in the middle here, one here, one in the middle here, one in this corner, one in this corner. So it looks like that. Do the same thing on the other side. That corner. here, right in the middle there, middle there, I forgot this turret down here, so it should look like on the front there should be six, on each side there should be four, and then on the back here there should also be six. And it looks like I got one extra turret, which means I used one less pillar building at this time. So we're going to stick that last one in the middle row facing that direction. So just like that. You can always put the turrets however you want, obviously. I think this configuration is pretty solid. Once again, here is our finished boat. Plants are growing. Turrets are all over the place. I can't imagine you can get too much better turret coverage on a motorboat than this. It's very efficient. Uh, there's not very many. There's not much in the way of places you could clean up. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, subscribe, hit the thumbs up, whatever. And uh, we'll catch you next time.